Hi, in this video, I'll show you how you can take your first trace with CodeTrack. To start, just open CodeTrack and select the type of application you want to profile. In this case, we'll just choose a simple process. After that, select the application to trace. Always make sure the business and framework version is correct. Now you can choose what kind of profiling you want. For this demo, we'll just go for tracing. By using this filter, we make sure that we only trace methods from assemblies that are not located under the Windows directory. So all methods from the .NET framework will be ignored. Now it's time to start profiling. Make sure the record button is pressed and then press play. The application is then started and in the graph you can already see some interesting metrics like the number of method calls and the number of active managed threads. When you're done, you can press the stop button or just close the application. GoTrack will now process the data and when it's done, you can start analyzing. GoTrack offers a few different views on the same data. To start with, you have the tree view, which shows you exactly how many times a certain method in a certain call stack was called and what the total duration of all these calls was. The methods are ordered by duration, so bottlenecks will be found at the top nodes of the tree. If a method is called in more than one call stack, you can navigate to the next ones using these arrows. In the first view, this is shown for all threads separately. In the second one, all of these trees are combined into one big overview, which can be handy if you have different threads doing similar work. In the flame graph, you see the same info as in the tree view, but displayed in a graphical way. The longer the bars, the longer the duration. The darker the color, the higher the call count. In the list view, you get an overview of all methods. In the group tab, the methods are grouped by their assembly, namespace and class. Use the headers to sort the methods ascending or descending. If you're looking for a particular method or class, you can just press Ctrl F and type its name. Then just click the item you want. The timeline view shows you all the method calls chronologically from left to right. From top to bottom you can see the call stacks. So this method here calls these ones and so on. All the different threads are stacked upon each other. The thread IDs are right here on the left. So if your thread has been named, you can see that here. If you want to quickly navigate to a thread, you can select it here. As you can see, this view enables you to go into incredible detail and look at every single method call. It also offers a clear view on the interaction between two threads. On the right hand side, you can see all the assemblies, namespaces, classes and methods. You can use this to navigate to a specific method. You can zoom in by holding the control key and using your scroll wheel. If you scroll up, you'll zoom in, and if you scroll down, you zoom out. Below this assembly view, you have the helicopter view of your timeline. In this view, you can see where your current viewport is located. You can also use the blue box to navigate by dragging it around. If you select a particular method, you can also see where this method has been called. All calls are marked here with little blue dots. If you click on one, this call is automatically brought into view. If you double click, the method call also gets selected. To measure the time, you can just drag a region in the timeline. If you right click in the assembly view, you can mark a method with a color, so you can easily find it back in the timeline. This color marking is also shown in the three views. You can zoom back to the complete view by clicking this button. CodeTrack also provides you with some extra metrics. You can see this by clicking the graph button. This will show you CPU, memory and disk usage. It also shows you the sizes of the different heap generations. At the top of the timeline you can see the locations of all garbage collects, which are shown in orange. And all the exceptions that occurred are marked in red. If you hover over these marks, you get some more info, like the type of exception and the thread on which it happened. If a thread was suspended, this is shown with a red hatch pattern. And if CodeTrack was able to find out the reason of the suspension, it's also shown. To look for exceptions, you can use this button. The dialog shows you an overview of all exceptions. If you select an entry, you'll get some more details. You can then immediately go to the location by clicking this link. 
In the bottom right corner, you can see all properties of your current selection. For deep traced methods, you'll also find the method arguments and return values here. Also in the bottom right corner, you can see the code of the currently selected call. If you're only interested in particular threads, you can filter these out by clicking on this button. In this dialog, you can select the threads you want to keep, and also the order in which they appear. This can be handy if you need to analyze the interaction between two threads. You can see that this filter also affects all other views. Just like filtering out threads, you can also filter out particular time ranges. Just go to the timeline view and then select the ranges you want by dragging in the ticks header. You can select more than one range if you want and you can still adjust the markers afterwards. To remove a marker, you can double click it. If you double click on the ticks header, you can also add another marker. Notice how the markers also generate guidelines below. Single click in a range to select or deselect it. A selected range is marked with a blue header. When you are happy with your selection, you can rescope by clicking this button. Just like with the threads, this change is again reflected in all views. To go back to the full time range, just select the full range in the scope history. CodeTrack has its own plugin system. To demo this, I'll open a trace with DeepTrace configured so the plugins are enabled. By default, it comes with two example plugins. A generic plugin showing you all the deep traced methods. And the console plugin that shows you the console output of your application. By clicking on a line in this output, you can quickly navigate to the corresponding location in the timeline. You can also write your own plugins based on your own deep trace rule sets. For more information, check out the documentation on the website. This concludes our very quick overview of CodeTrack. For more information, please check the how to's on gitcodetrack.com. If you still have any questions or issues, don't hesitate to contact me, and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, make sure to follow CodeTrack on Twitter to get notified of new releases. And if you like it, please tell your fellow developers about CodeTrack. Thanks for watching, and happy profiling!